course, so I made like a heartfelt video, bearing my soul, and um, I recorded it on my phone, forgetting that my phone is, it, it destroyed itself, so, <laughs> and I was promoting my book. Uh, this is a plea for answers, as much as it is documentation on my part. I'm documenting that this occurred, sharing my testimony, but I'm also entreating your opinions and your own experience in these matters. The occult is inherently secretive. Now, I haven't personally voluntarily entered into any kind of vow of silence. I, I believe in teaching others, and I believe in being honest, and I believe in showing these things, like, as I said, this is documentation, like, I believe in documenting as much as we can. But spirits don't always agree, and I don't understand where to draw the line. There are hundreds of occult authors out there, and we have to market our material. We have to bring in readers, and we have to reveal information. We have to say something with substance. Where do we draw the line? What is okay to say and what isn't? What is okay to do? When is, how is it okay to advertise? It occurred to me that I had uploaded a video some time ago before I had published. I didn't provide any context for said video. I entitled it, this is a big deal, because it is a big deal. But I didn't explain why, I didn't explain what you were listening to, and I trimmed it to where you can't, like, you can't really tell what's happening. There's just, like, a short burst. Together. And it's from a ritual. But I had intentions of getting into it later on once I'd at least had the opportunity to put my name to my discoveries. I didn't want to start leaking those discoveries out into the internet before I'd formally published a book and put my name on it. I was doing a summoning and I said, And not all of this is shown in the video because I intentionally had to withhold this information until such time as I had published. But I, I trimmed it and I posted a very short clip. Um, but in the full ritual, I had said, Hear my voice by my virtues. Come thou spirit, Cantavalerion, or go but hell, and Dontalion. And my spirit box at that exact moment of monologuing called out, Together. But I couldn't talk about it until after I had published. So I decided to talk about it today. I went to post it onto the page, the Facebook page that I created for my book, which is Armada's Book of Beelzebub. Right after I posted, right after I hit share, I heard a noise and I came out to see what it was. And this is on the far end of my bedroom. I'm, I came all the way from my bathroom, so they're like opposite sides in two different rooms. And his candle had exploded. This just transpired. Right after I hit share. And like I said, like personally, I believe in being a teacher. And I... I just wish that I understood because I don't.
on the off chance that this is unrelated. <laughs> with the other authors out there, to the other, to figureheads, more successful than myself. At least to those who are credible. If you yourself know that you are not credible, then it's an entirely different game. I can see liars chattering and having no consequences. But when you actually work with demons, and you want to talk and you want to teach. What do you do? If I'm being honest, I'm not as clueless as I used to be. Sometimes the line is that he doesn't want me to show ceremonial footage. I didn't have any issues promoting my book until I went to show this clip, which is from an actual ritual with him. Now for this clip, I had every intention of eventually playing it and explaining it to you guys. So I feel like it's fair for me to be able to post it but have you ever had ideas be airdropped into your mind? Thoughts that present as yours, but it's really them revealing gnosis to you. I prayed and I asked, why is secrecy and magic important? Or why don't you want us to show these things? And they don't want to be paraded and put on display for just anyone. For those of you who actually believe in the occult, I'm sure you've had to deal with the naysayers who insist that there's no concrete evidence. For those of you who do believe, why do you think that is? They don't necessarily want to be proven to the world. They've chosen us, and we should be honored for that. This aside, I still would like to be able to initiate a pact where maybe I can post these things. So if you have any ideas for what an equivalent exchange might be, I am asking. However, if there ever comes a day where I stop sharing ritual footage, you know why. He's been patient with me, and I would be devastated if I lost him. It's just, I don't know, it's a constant back and forth. Ask for permission, what do you offer in exchange? How do you entice them? What do you think are the reasonable terms and compromises to include in the pact? I am asking for your advice. 